Hey everyone, what's bitten here? So, uh, happy holidays. It's December 16th. We're, um, for me, it's coming into kind of a nice slow period. Uh, the semester's over. I've got a few weeks before it kicks up again. And uh, it always gives me a little more time to, to devote to the hobby. I uh, wanted to give a quick update, kind of a, a year in review, uh, not nearly the detail that I did last year, but just a very, very quick update uh, on the channel. And I want to talk about some things coming up that, that I feel are kind of exciting and that I'm looking forward to. So um, really the only update I have is, you know, the, the channel is now several years into existence. I think five, four or five years uh, in between the two channel names. Of course, I changed it a few years ago. Um, but we're up to 7,000 subscribers, which by YouTube standards is very small. But I think in the, in the Warhammer YouTube community, uh, I, I never really thought I would get to 7,000. Um, I know that uh, about a year ago, Anthony from the Sustainable Center was talking about how he was nearing 1,000 subscribers at the time and how he thought it would slow down. And um, I think uh, his channel and mine both, it's actually growing faster. The, the larger I get, the faster I'm growing. And I've noticed Anthony is up to 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so he's growing very, very quickly. Um, so that's a good sign. It's a good thing. I think we have a lot more uh, people in the hobby uh, coming to check out these kind of these YouTube um, battle reports and, and other types of videos. So I thought that was very, very cool. If you follow my channel, you might have realized that I have posted 399 battle reports. Um, so I did something special for my 400th battle report and it's kicking off a new series that I'm doing. But um, basically there's a, a, a local player, uh, Ben from Bull City Wargaming. Uh, he and I are gonna be doing a uh, doing the end time scenarios. We're, we're starting with the Gash scenario one and we're gonna work through all of them. Now sometimes this is gonna be me versus Ben. Sometimes, especially if we don't own the armies that need to be played, we will team up with somebody else, in which case for instance, when I play Skaven, I will team up with a Skaven player, and he and I will both play that army. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. My 400th battle report will be the first scenario, me playing my Bretonians against a Vampire Counts army um, right out of the Nagash book. And it was a fun, fun game. The scenario rules uh, really changed the game. This one was eight turns long, so it's going to be kind of a longer battle report. Um, just a lot of fun. And so uh, I'll probably create... Uh, a different kind of title for this so, so that in the future if people want to watch the scenarios uh, from one till the end then they can do that. So I'm kind of excited about that. And that, I, I kind of like that it that it coincided with my 400th battle report. Uh, let's see another battle report that I will have coming up soon was a combined game where Lord Inquisitor and Jerry Parsley came down um, to, for just to, to play some local games because we had the Mid-Atlantic qualifying tournament going on. And um, so the night before, they both stayed at my house, and Lord Inquisitor and I teamed up playing Beastman against Jerry P. Now, if you remember him, he was the one who was playing the Chaos War for me that I just annihilated at the last tournament. And he wanted some revenge, and so he brought his Tomb Kings. So it's Beastman versus Tomb Kings, Lord Inquisitor and Once Bitten versus Jerry P. And um, that was a fun game. It, there was, um, it started late, there was a fair amount of drinking involved, and I actually went to bed at some point and told them to finish the game because I just... <laughs> I was if like stayed up all night with the tournament the next day. Um, anyway, so that's coming up. I'm excited for that. Then I have five games related to the tournament that I went to. I have one practice game and then four games of the mass the Mid Atlantic Masters tournament. And by the time we get around to making them, it will be a week or two since I played them. I'm a little bit worried about remembering all the details, but I think we'll be okay. And then the other thing I've coming up I'm doing that I'm going to do lately is. Um, you know, it seems that every region there's a handful of people that just really know how to paint, um, that, that make me feel like I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I, I've said it very often, I, I think I'm a, I'm a uh, okay painter. I'm a, I think I'm a good painter considering I have no artistic ability whatsoever. Uh, but some people have artistic ability and they work hard at it and what they can accomplish is amazing. Well, we have a local player that every time he comes to a tournament, um, and we, especially, uh, I think it's Grail Quest and maybe Brawler Bash, where we, we have a, you know, bring your best painted model and put it on a ta table and we all vote. And he just wins it every single time. And we're actually to the point now that we're going to start offering two awards because one we know will automatically go to him every time. So um, he only lives about 45 minutes south of where I live. So I think I'm going to go down to his house and 
uh, take pictures of his armies. He has a room with, um, with display cases all over it and just a lot of armies, fully painted, beautifully done. Um, I think it would be, I think it would be really neat to see that. Um, and uh, who knows, we might end up doing something down that line. Like, I don't know if I would do multiple videos with him over time, or if I might start showcasing uh, players that have something really cool about their the way they play, the way they approach the hobby, or something like that. Uh, a little bit similar to what Melorian did, showcasing uh, YouTube personalities and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, those, those are the things coming up over the next several weeks. Uh, it's December 16th, so we've had another week and a half uh, before Christmas. Consider this my... Uh, <laughs> my my Christmas present. There there should be a lot of videos coming out. Normally I try to, even if I have content, I try not to upload more than a couple a week because I find that when I do more than that, they, they just uh, don't get watched as much. But I think over the next couple weeks, we might have a lot more than that. So uh, I'm excited for it. Um, I think the last hobby update, I talked about my Tomb Kings army, or rather my Undead Legions army. Um, I, I finished the... What's it called? The War Sphinx. Um, and finished it. I haven't done the skeletons yet, but it's 95% done. And so now it's, the next thing is I just have to go buy some more models. So I might, I think I'm going to buy about 60 skeletons and start plowing through them pretty soon. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. So that's the update. I expect to have a battle report uploaded tonight or tomorrow. And um, that will be the number 400 Nagash in times scenario one. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Bye.